around the world. This is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube. And remember, this is Forex Trading Course 101, and this for beginners, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the repeater strategy system. You need to have a strategy or a system with an edge in order to make you consistent profits. You need to have and obey risk management rules and you need to have and understand psychology right and everybody if this is your first time we are in the beginner module we are learning about trends trend line support resistance pivot points and candlestick formations we are not talking anymore about market structure highs and low and trends so if this is your first time and you don't quite understand what is happening go on the Dukas copy webinar page and start to watch the forex trading course 101 from the first lesson lesson number one also remember that 90 percent of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and that webinars are not investment or trading advice the webinars are for educational purposes only don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose hello miguel hello george remember i have a 20 seconds delay on my chat and for homeworks and or questions you have my gmail contact skype contact and linkedin contact that being said everybody let's dive into the live markets and let's start so the lesson for today is how to trade pivot points in an uptrend okay so what did we learn so far we learned two things so far in an uptrend right thing number one we learned how to trade past support in an uptrend let's make it like this then we learned how to trade resistance past resistance in an uptrend right so let's clone where is it here could be a nice example okay now in order to understand how to trade pivot points you need to understand how to trade support in an uptrend and you need to understand how to trade resistance in an uptrend okay so pivot points we said that what is different when we approach a pivot point let's color code this in this color is that the market is going to is going to move in an uptrend and then is going to hit the pivot point and most likely is going to react in some way right we don't know how but in the end it should break the pivot point and retrace hit again and continue right this is the difference between support resistance and the pivot point this is the specific right so the market is going to hit the pivot point from downside up let's color code in black and it's going to hit the pivot point from the upside down so those are the two areas specifics of the pivot point hello any how are you did you receive my email any on your chart for your charts I think you're correct but I think any that you should and of course everybody else also me too we are together in this you should improve the stop loss okay and of course sometimes our problem is capital right we cannot put the stop loss in the right place technically speaking so this is the pivot point now as you can see from the pivot point you have two different scenarios right number one when you are going we have different phases right 
So phase number one is approaching the pivot point reaction and phase number two is approaching the pivot point from the other side and reaction okay as a beginner trader everybody you have three phases so this phase in here is tradable tradable okay we're going to we're going to trade the ball there you go we're going to explain to you this phase here is tradable but there is one phase and this is this one not tradable everybody what why do you think not tra tradable why do you think the second phase everybody in between why do you think the you why do you think the quadrant when it happens it's not tradable let's see how smart you are everybody why do you think that this one is tradable it's kind of predictable right this one is also tradable kind of predictable and but this one is not tradable why do you think everybody why do you think that the break is not tradable and again there is no right or wrong you can say because of this you can say because of that you can say I don't know you can say I don't agree with you passion the, the quadrant is tradable there is no right or wrong right what do you think Miguel George any Victor Max Muhammad, Mikhail, if you are there, why do you think the quadrant is not tradable? MJ, why do you think it's not tradable, the quadrant? And there is no right or wrong, right? Oh, passion, I'm going to continue because you don't know where we go. False break. Victor, you are right. False break, maybe Max also right because of high volatility. All traders are afraid of the pivot point. Maybe yes. Up now, I have it not received. Okay, everybody, all of you are right. There is a simple answer. Okay, I'm going to summarize because we don't have the crystal. <laughs> we don't have. Maybe Max has, but we don't have the crystal ball and we don't know what is going to happen in here so victor you are correct because we don't have the crystal ball we don't know where until where we'll go maxes maybe false breakout yes we don't we don't know right george is because that of all of all is afraid everybody's afraid yes maybe we don't know high risk no clear direction yes okay so this is why it's not tradable and today and today is uptrend, right? So how to trade pivot points in an uptrend? So let's color code this in black. <coughs> there you go. There you go. In here. This is the uptrend line. Just give me a second, everybody. Okay, so let's go on AUDJPY. AUDJPY, right? AUDJPY weekly chart first. Let's compress the chart and let's try to find the pivot point. Weekly chart. Let me see this one is quite good right reaction reaction here right responded reaction great great example on how you can lose money everybody if you are not if you are not careful 
this is a great example AUDJPY weekly chart okay we have many pivot points but let's start with the first one okay first one in here first one okay there you go and when this happens of course you don't have the crystal ball right but this is the example week when we see this okay mafia is coming to fx patient bye bye yes they are my friends max <laughs> no problem you know Don Corleone is my friend so no problem and Vito Salvini is also my friend so but don't tell anybody else okay they are my friends no, no problem okay so this is the weekly chart and what we learned right is the forex market is a financial game between the two countries and the long-term bias I still don't get the way to understand the pivot point Victor would you be so kind and be more specific about your question the way to understand the pivot point the difference I'm going to explain some things maybe it's going to help so the difference between resistance is that the market is going to bounce back and then never break this is resistance break I mean it's not going to break it's not going to break okay if it's a strong resistance on the monthly the market is not going to break Victor resistance okay but when it's not resistance when it's pivot point in some point in time the market is going to break so this makes this is the difference between a simple resistance where, where the market is not going to break it and a pivot point where the market is going to break how to detect it's simple Victor pivot points everybody are areas where and when you should see minimum two times that the market is going to react from the that from the downside up direction so you see reaction here Victor right but this is not a pivot point so far this is resistance and then in one point in time the market is going to break this resistance and is going to approach and is going to react again from the oops not this one from the downside up okay so and this is the difference Victor between support mere support or resistance and the pivot points you need minimum two I was absent few days what was doing here we're talking about how to trade support resistance and we are now talking about pivot points okay Victor when you have an area where the market was moving up higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows touched the area and reacted like a like a tennis ball boing you know and change the trend making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs so from the downside up hit the wall point and fall down in some point in time it break it broke this area and fall back down hit the wall like a tennis ball no boink and reacted up this is a pivot point okay this is the or if you want if you want on a simple simple scale it's like this 
this is the pivot point okay but don't confuse this simple graphic with an uptrend this is why this graphic is better with the uptrends and downtrends what's the difference between support I'm explaining right now Max you know on the chart on the chart let's go again if you don't understand watch these webinars they're on the YouTube channel everybody okay AUD JPY okay what is this level here everybody what is this level Max and Victor what is this level what is this level is this uh, support is this resistance is this a pivot point what is this level this is AUD JPY monthly chart what is this level everybody it's a pivot point it's support it's resistance a pivot is where you have a region of both support and resistance yes thank you Eddington for your English Max and Victor when support change value to resistance this is called a pivot point maybe yes what do you think Eddington so this is support right why why is not this a pivot point let's change and you everybody you are my teacher teacher why is this not a pivot point look how many times hit the wall hit the wall hit the wall hit the wall why is this not a pivot point it is a <laughs> it is a line yes it is but teacher why is this not a pivot point and you are correct everybody this is support why is that well this line is different than I'm going to delete this one right this line in here is different than this line in here right only touch from the above says Miguel yes exactly okay so Victor and Max we are we are clear that this is support what is this I'm going to delete this arrow what is the upper line especially Victor and Max what is this line the upper line ah okay Victor got it. Congratulations to you, Victor. You got it, right? No problem. We are here to help you. Don't worry. Okay. So this is support and this is resistance. And Eddington has a good explanation. Miguel has a good explanation. Resistance. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes sir. What is this one? it's the same line what is the line in between the orange not the or okay the orange line right teacher why is this different it's the same line this is the same line this is the same line this is the same line and this one is a resistance yes max what is this line what is the orange line what is this is this support or resistance the orange line this is support right hit the wall hit the wall hit the wall hit the wall right this is resistance hit the wall hit the wall hit the wall hit the wall right okay Victor question is for you and Max why is the orange line a pivot point question just for you the others know Max and Victor why is the orange line why do you call this a pivot point what is so special in here it's the same line right 
Yes, everybody, you are correct. It's a pivot point, but teacher Victor and teacher Max, why is this a pivot point? Why do you call it a pivot point? It's the same line. It's the same. The market hit the wall here, hit the wall here. Yes, any hit, yes. Support looks like global minimum. Correct. If you are talking about the orange line, the answer is no. Resistance is look global maximum value of chart. Max, answer the question. What is the orange line? What is called the pivot point? Because we hit for both sides. Yes, teacher Victor, congratulations. Max, no candy for you, Max. Today, no, can no candy for you. <laughs> okay. This is the reason. <laughs> because it's uh, no candy for you. Just Victor is going to have get the candy, okay? <laughs> okay, everybody, so we are here, right? And... Okay, there you go. Okay, we are here right now. Okay, we're going to increase the scale, increase the scale. Okay, by now we know that we are here right now and this is just an example. It could be on other time frames, smaller time frames. So our long-term bias, we are here. Our long-term bias is up. Okay? We have this line, we don't know, but we have this line from the past, right? Oh, here is support from the upside down, right? This is support from the upside down, right? See everybody, this is support from the upside down, right? Now you're asking, how can this be support? Well look back right it was in one right the market was moving from one side to the other right can you see this everybody can you see let me see okay we're going to get there where we don't have the crystal ball but can you see this the market was making higher highs higher lows and hit the wall broke right went up hit the wall and moved up so can you spatially see this everybody so from the past we have this level here the market was playing around here right here and it's an area you cannot make it uh, exactly to the pip you know it's an area so I'm choosing to, to leave it like here, a2.130, maybe a little bit higher, okay, so bang, hit the wall here, hit the wall here, so this is what, this is support, right, but the market was on the other side in the past, so we have this from the past, okay, and I'm going to delete the arrow, okay, now, this is the lesson for the other day why to stay out in here why not to enter okay oh I'm going to go long well good luck to you my friend you know oh the market is falling I'm going to go long it's going to react you know hit the wall here hit the wall here I'm going to go long in here good luck to you we are staying out of this and the market of course is falling 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 found the long-term bias right the long-term bias support now what we know so far is that our long-term bias long-term direction is up why need pivot point how to use it this is the lesson of today so in an uptrend right we are trading no problem we learned how to identify structure we learned how to identify the short-term trends, right? So let's color code this in. As a beginner trader, I don't know not I don't know 
anything about the forex market I just learned structure and trends and the market wave so I'm here right now right I'm trading the counter trend and breaks on the daily chart and we are here now disable okay so let's core code this in black so we said that we have where is it not in here we have cheat three phases right there you go let's compress the chart we have phase number one we have phase number two and we are staying out in the middle where is the quadrant so we are staying out in here okay so phase number one we were trading this is phase number one okay what we can expect and let's dive let's dive into the chart okay everybody win and this was your homework everyone to have your pivot points on the monthly charts okay so it doesn't matter if you are trading on one hour chart or two hour chart or the 15 minute chart or the daily or the weekly it doesn't matter where the market gets near the pivot point okay even though you don't see and we don't have the crystal ball right you should pocket your profits okay you should pocket your profits and stay out this is phase number one on how to trade a pivot point in an uptrend okay so markets making higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows sooner or later it's going to hit the wall and past technical movement it's not a guarantee for the future movement okay but this is phase number one so we are here and this is the theory right the market waves why should we stay out at quarter four 2008 the green line was not yet a pivot point yes it was George yes it was yes it was George are we clear George my friend yes it was we are in 2005 and we identified this area in 2005 agreed George do you agree George do you agree I'm waiting for an answer George we are in 2005 the green line is a pivot point much later until the no sir no okay George look here what happened here what happened here George boink reaction right and boink can you see everybody especially we had this pivot point from the past George do you agree that we have a pivot point from the past I am not agreed to with George. <laughs> no, this is only support, not yet pivot point. Okay, teacher George, why why is this not a pivot point? George, tell me. Teacher George, why is this not a pivot point? We are 2005 and 2006. Why is this not a pivot point? what are you going to tell me teacher George pivot points max are areas they are not a straight line okay do you want to be more specific well this is a pivot point area better like this 
Okay, but then almost levels our pivot points. Could be. But tell me, now I'm, I'm thinking as you, George. You want to be stubborn, right? No problem. Tell me, why is this not a pivot point? And everybody else? You want to be stubborn? No problem. We're going to change. You are my teacher. Because the bounce from up to down is very small. It doesn't matter. Nobody, nobody quantified how big or small. Right? This is the line. You know? And you are going to have a big bounce, you know, and then you have a big bounce. So this is a pivot point, right? No. No, nobody said nothing about, oh, it must be a big bounce or the small bounce. No, sir, no. Okay, everybody. Great question, George. Keep asking questions. Okay. Is anybody in here who thinks like George? No, this is not a valid pivot point. Now that passion only draws the pivot on a weekly or monthly chart, too much noise on the lower time frames, and like you said, there are pivots everywhere. Is in here anybody who thinks like George that this is not a pivot point from the past? Everybody, there is no right or wrong. Make questions. Okay. So and everybody as George said the small bounce or big bounce it doesn't matter okay nobody nobody's teaching you about small bounces and big bounces the only characteristic of the pivot point is that it's going to hit both sides of the area and it's going to react I did not see difference between a resistance and then when it hit that it's now resistance why need to use pivot points at all I'm going to show you max just be patient and everybody to be fair if you don't like what we teach you you can reject okay George you can say no I don't agree no this is not a pivot point no, in my opinion, no problem everybody, okay? You don't need to accept everything that we are teaching you. Okay? No problem. We are here to learn, to debate, right? So, let's get back to the chart. And the chart is here. And we said that let me see, we are in an uptrend, okay. So, we, this could be the five minute chart you are trading up, right? Up structure, up trends, could be the daily, the one hour, the two hour chart, everything, right? Okay, so scenario number one, when the market, when and where is going to approach the pivot point, pocket your profits if you want, or don't go long anymore near the pivot point okay question for the more experienced traders how you know where and when the market is going to react everybody this is not for the beginners anymore you know we know so far that most likely the market is going to react, right? Most likely, why? Well, we don't have the crystal ball. The market is going to most likely is going to react, but maybe it's going to break this pivot point area, right? How are you going to know that the market is going to react? Most likely, what do you think, everybody? Thank you Eddington, great answer. Pivot points are stronger range points than support or resistance on their own. Pivot ranges, okay. No. No. Something is going to happen up in here that is going to indicate that most likely is going to react 
Well, I can see the candles is getting small. Mm, not quite. Volume Japanese candlestick analysis. No, no. What, everybody, what does... In order to form a trend, what do you need to see? In order to form a trend, what is a trend? It's a sequence of... What is a trend? George, I was joking with you, right? <laughs> Don't get offended. I said, oh, you want to be stubborn, you know? I was joking, my friend. Don't worry. Resistance. No. The candles become to have long wicks. No. What? What is, an what is a trend? A sequence of what? A new high. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, when the market is going to approach, you know, it's going to happen one or two things. Or the market is going to break through a pivot point area. Or, as Eddington said, the market is going to form a high. What is a high? A high is a central candle with two candles on the left and two candles on the right. Right? And so, it's going to happen one or the other, everybody. Okay, let me see if I can put this in between. I cannot put a week. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now, bear in mind that past market behavior is not guaranteed for the future. Maybe it's going to ha it could happen, especially if there is a announcement day, it could happen this, you know, it's going to happen a high and bam. So this is why, why we are staying out in here, okay, but a great indication why the market is going to react is when it forms a high as Eddington said okay so let's see what's going to happen so if you're a beginner trader everybody and you should have this pivot point area on your time frame of trading right we are going to identify pivot points from the monthly chart but we have them on the one hour chart two hour chart daily chart why is that? Same reason, the market is going to react, most likely. Okay? Now, let's see what is going to happen. Okay, still not a high. Okay, now it's a high. It's a center candles with two candles on the left and two candles on the right. Now, let's see. This is the uptrend line. Right? Okay, now, one more thing. On the smaller scale, which is not the weekly, on the smaller scale, right, you can short the market. On the smaller scale, if this is the weekly chart, and let's go on the daily, let's go on the daily, this is the daily chart, right? Okay, now. If you want, everybody, you can start shorting the market. Oh, patient, but the market still above the uptrend line. Yes, it is. You are correct, everybody. It's above the, still above the uptrend line, right? And on the daily. Now, now I'm on the daily chart. But for the beginner trader, the most important thing, everybody, you don't have the crystal ball, but when it's going to approach, stay out, don't enter long. Okay? Now, if you're an aggressive trader, you can play around, right? You can draw other trend lines if you want. Something like this. And of course you need, we learned about the confirmation of the short term trend, right? So this is one trend line, the other, okay? The most important thing is to stay out. Now for the one who want to short the market, 
you need to have the confirmation of two lows to highs we don't have let me see now okay low high low high but we learned also that those kind of trades are risky trades so if you want to learn anything today the lesson is this phase number one where and when the market when and where the market where is the graph there you go when and where the market is going to approach the pivot point stay out don't go long you are going to have oh i have structure in the in the up direction i have the short term trend making higher highs higher lows i have my fibonacci i have the uptrend line right especially on the smaller time frame and you don't pay attention you are trading on this could be one hour chart the two hour chart the four hour chart 15 minute chart and you don't pay attention on the monthly and weekly where and when you should stay out you are going to lose pips and money okay max your question is why to use pivot points what should i know pivot points because you are going to have a Fibonacci sequence and you are going to have your stochastic and MACD and the super mega JP Morgan Chase telling you to go long and on the other side you are going to have me saying to pocket your profit stay out of the market and no you are going to go long right most likely everybody you are going to lose in here okay so if you're a beginner trader stay out of the market wait for phase two to trade what is phase two well phase two is where and when the market breaks the pivot point area phase number one phase number two and phase number three is in here and this is one of those webinars everybody that I'm going to sell you watch these webinars over and over and over to get these concepts and theory <coughs> okay let's go back to the chart I'm going to delete the and again everybody you can reject this knowledge no problem you know you don't need to accept everything and anything that we are teaching you so we are here we said what where okay we are on the daily chart right daily chart and some of you are going to listen are not going to go long some of you are not going to listen right some of you are not going to listen and are going to enter long with this counter trend line break right oh counter trend line break and the market reacted to a lay of past support past support here right this is a nice entry right counter trend line break the market reacted past support on the <laughs> victories tell me victor what is the question now in which time frame will be better to draw support resistance and pivot point okay everybody NZD cat you go on the monthly chart you go on the monthly chart and you find your pivot points on the monthly chart okay not weekly not daily monthly rule this is a rule in here the one who are shorting the market are going to lose most likely okay why is that because it's a pivot point okay and then Victor you are going to leave this you are going to write on some paper 
the number of the pivot point which is where 838897 and you should have this pivot point on all time frames especially on your trading time frame so if I'm trading on the 2 hour chart right if I'm trading on the 2 hour chart I should have this pivot point on the 2 hour chart so it's 83897 0 0.83897 okay so I have identified my pivot point from the monthly but I also have it on the 2 hour chart on the daily chart okay Victor well I was looking at the only important is that and remember everybody it's an area it's not a straight line it's not a pivot it's not 0 0.83897 it's an area okay it's bigger it's larger than this okay but this price movement up in here this reaction was predictable it's still predictable okay now for the more aggressive traders for the counter trend traders you can go long in here passion but it has a down structure and downtrend and everything yes we are upgrading your knowledge everybody all the rules are the same what is high probability less technical risk what is low probability higher technical risk right we are trying to upgrade your knowledge so far if you don't understand go back lesson number one like a good student watch again lesson number one two three right until you get here in that case will be better to trade another pair well not necessarily if you want you can go long in here but I'm telling you if you were if you were short on NZD cat pocket your profits and don't go short until what what is phase number two everybody don't go short until the market is going to most likely no guarantees we don't have the crystal ball these webinars are not trading and investment advice most likely the market is going to retrace and bam this is the specific of the pivot point so stay out don't short NZD cat okay at least non short long term tomorrow we have news coming out of Canada the interest rate for on Friday we have news coming out of Canada together with the non-farm payroll okay don't go don't go short in here at least not long term you can use trade this of course in that case will be better to trade another pair yes maybe yes if you're a beginner trader of course okay any questions Victor and everybody else any questions man George went quiet I need to send an I'm sorry I'm going to send an I'm sorry email to him George I'm sorry <laughs> don't get offended everybody sometimes I play with you you know I'm going to tell you oh you are stubborn let's reverse I'm your I'm your student okay but you need to get this everybody okay so we are here and as we said you are not going to listen to me and you are going to buy right counter trend line break in an uptrend past level of support so I have three four reasons to enter long you welcome Victor now if you don't listen oh passion is wrong mm, not anymore <laughs> see 
Okay, George, great, no problem, thank you. Passion, at the beginning of the lesson you said that phase two was not tradable. You placed the question why? Still no answer. Not tradable because we don't have the crystal ball and we don't know where and when the next breakout, if, is going to happen. Supposed to break here, didn't break. Supposed to break here, didn't break. Maybe it's going to break here or maybe not, you know. But this is the specific, specific of the pivot point. It must break. The problem is where and when. We don't know. Okay. So, see everybody. What is going to happen if you are going to enter long or short at the pivot point. Technically speaking, you have all the reasons to enter long in here. Counter trend line break on the upside of the uptrend line. The market reacted from pass, sub found pass, support. So, and the pivot point is still far away. Pivot point is not a straight line, it's an area, everybody. Okay? And some of you are not going to listen, are going to go long. Happy in here, but sad in here, <laughs> right? Oh man, I should have listened, you know. Well, but as I said, you can short if you're an aggressive trader, right? Let's wait. And of course, those kind of trades are, come on, are risky. As Witter said, maybe we should stay out, you know, and wait. Don't go long, everybody, until the market breaks the pivot point. I'm telling you, if you are going to enter in here, Right? Oh, passion, but the market broke the counter trend line again and the market is moving up and I know it's going to, it's going to break. Well, um, I don't know. Sometimes it's going to break, maybe not. You know? So this is fa phase. See everybody, you could be going long here and here and here. What about now? This is phase number two. Stay out. Don't go long. If you want, better to go short. In this respect, pivot points are line around price values in short term trading, correct? Usually at round values, this is high uncertainty of bounce break. Eddington, help me out here, please. George, my vocabulary is limited, man. I don't quite know what is a line around price values. Maybe Eddington does. I find trading pivot point point complicated. It is. Yes, it is. So, wait. This is the daily chart, everybody. Wait. Look in here. If you would go long in here, maybe in the wrong place at the wrong time, what would happen? You would lost. If you don't have enough capital, small account would lose money in here, you know. If you have a bigger account, you would get stressed, you know. You don't have the crystal ball, the market is making lower lows, right? Stay out, this is phase number two, stay out of the market until, look in here everybody, look what happened around the pivot point and this is the daily chart so let's check the time August, September, October, November 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of course see everybody all this mess and my Fibonacci dog and my Ichimoku dog <laughs> there, there something is happening in the markets okay it would be a mess, you would lose money in here. Eddington says, not necessarily, George. Thank you, Eddington. 
Okay everybody, until now what I understand I should look before to trade certain things what you are telling me bias, direction, trend, market structure, support, and pivot points that right? Yes sir. When passion says the pivot point is a range, it could be a 50 pip range that from top or bottom. 50 pips everybody or 500 pipettes. Okay. Okay everybody, so homework until tomorrow. Homework. Put all pivot points, support and resistance levels from the monthly chart to the to the trading charts this is the homework until tomorrow put all your pivot points and support and resistance levels from the monthly chart to your trading charts if you are trading on the 15 minute chart you should have the pivot points on your chart you should have the resistance from the monthly resistance from the monthly and you should have support from the monthly okay you should have all of these levels from the monthly chart on your one hour chart two hour chart if you are trading from the one hour chart and the daily is your confirmation chart you should have all the pivot points and support and resistance levels from the monthly on the one hour and daily okay everybody our time is up see you back tomorrow Rakesh is coming with his webinar in the end stay strong in the markets stay strong and trade with passion this is FX passion signing off